You know, it's interesting. I've found that one of the major differences in men and women, other than genitalia, obviously, is farting technique. Now, I've done a fair amount of research on the topic, and I think it's pretty fair to say that all men fart one way, and all women fart another. Neither is more correct than the other one. They're just different. Men's have smell. Women's don't. These are just facts, and there's nothing wrong with either type. They're both gross. Let's talk about girls first. Girl farts have much more of a squeaky type quality to them. They'll go a few notes up throughout their duration. Hit that high A. There it is. Yeah, I lost it. Now the fun part is that it's almost always unexpected with girls because they have a tendency to hold them in for long periods of time. You know, after a while they have about two or three dozen farts backed up in there. So when they laugh or make a sudden movement, one will just make a break for it and sneak its way out. So it often happens mid-conversation and she'll sit there for a few seconds to see if anyone noticed. And even though it is a fart, you gotta admit, it is a, a very cute sounding fart. It's just so small and effortless. Just a puff of musical air. You can't even call it breaking wind. It more just meets the wind and joins it in harmony. Now, guy farts are a bit more dangerous. It's a weapon, and the safety is never on. Most guys can fart on command, and we do think it's hilarious to fart in crowded places just to see how people react. Oh my gosh, do you smell that? I was just trying to get a drink from the bar, and someone must have passed gas. That is so gross. Who would do that? Meanwhile, the guy's just sitting back watching. Now, not all of us do this, but there are a few showmen who pride themselves on their farting ability. And they are masters of determining the most surprising and inappropriate times to demonstrate what they're capable of. During an exam, at a religious service, at the dentist office, basically any time he's on a hard surface seat to maximize the force and volume of the fart. So say you're eating dinner with a few friends. They'll just be sitting there, not really talking, maybe eating, and the moment you least expect it, he just fires it off. No warning. <coughs> Jesus! Get under the table! What was that? Okay, do not go under the table. The glasses are shaking, the dishes are rattling, pictures have fallen askew on the wall. Is everybody okay? The house definitely moved that time. Everyone hold your breath. Did we lose anyone? Then while everyone else is checking for injuries, he'll barely acknowledge that it even happened. He'll just continue eating and maybe shake his head once. 